Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Asset International Gap in 2021. Today I am going to solve this question by completing scale method with new and easy tricks. And I am 100% sure you that after watching this lecture, you can solve any question by completing scale method. But for this, you have to watch this lecture from starting to end and don't skip any step because each step of this lecture is very important for you. So without wasting any time, let's solve the question. So here the equation is given here 7x square plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Must remember the completing in completing scale method, the coefficient of x square must be equal to 1. Must remember the coefficient of x square must be equal to 1. This is the role of completing scale. Must remember. But here is the sign of 7. So you have to remove the sign of 7. You have to remove the so you have to remove the sign of 7. So simply you have to divide by 7 on both sides. Simply that's one of the step. Divide by 7. Dividing by 7, 7 over 7 x squared plus 2x over 7 minus 1 divided by 7 is equal to 0 divided by 7. That's it. 7 if we can cancel out, we get x squared plus 2 by 7 x minus 1 over 7 is equal to 0. So you have this must remember. In solving the equation of completing square, the coefficient of x square must be equal to 1. That's the first step you have to learn. And second step is very simply, for the step adding the, first of all, you have to shift this equation, shift the constant term into right hand side. Simply, x square plus 2 by 7, this is the second step, this is the first step, and this is the second step is where Coaster term we put in on to right hand side is equal to minus 1 by 7 will be plus 1 by 7. That's it. This is the second step. Now we're moving to our third step. Third step is very simply third step. Third step is here adding the square, adding the square of 1 by 2 multiply by coefficient of x coefficient of x on both sides so must remember now let now third step is very simple you have to take the coefficient of x simply and we can write here rough word so here 2 by 7 i take the coefficient of uh, x 2 by 7 First step. Now, third step is very simply you have to take the coefficient of x multiply by 1 by 2. Multiply by 1 by 2. Simplify 2 by 1, you get the value of 1 by 7. Next. Next is here after the coefficient of x square multiply by 1 by 2, you have to take the square. Now, taking the square or square here, you will get the value of 1 by 7 for completing scale. Next step is here. You have to add this value in this equation of left hand side and right hand side. You can write here equation number 1. So if you have simplified the first equation, we will get the value here x squared plus 2 by 7 x plus 1 by 7 completing square is equal to 1 by 7. As it is, write the value here plus 1 by 7 completing square. I hope that you have cleared the point the step. Simplify. You have to take the coefficient of x. Next multiply by 1 by 2. Next take the scaling. Then after that, you will add this value in left hand side and right hand side. This is the step step. I hope that you have cleared the point. And next step is very simply. You have to write here x. You will pack this large equation into small equation. You can write here x plus 1 by 7 completing scale. You have to pack up this value by x plus 1 by 7 completing scale. If we if we open this scale, we will get automatically this equation. We have pack up. Next step is here 1 over 7 plus 1 over 7 7 is really 49. That's here. Next step is here. 
I will write here simplify x plus 1 by 7 completing square. That's it. I write here 1 by 7 plus 1 by 49. You have to take the uh, LCM. I will now going to take you the LCM over here. X plus 1 by 7 completing square is equal to 49. Now take the LCM over here. 7, 7 will be 49 will be here. 7 on the 7 plus 49 plus the 49 will, will be here one sign. That's it. Right here, 7 plus 1 will be 8 divided by 49. Now, next step is here. You have to remove the sign of square. So, you have to take the square root on both sides. Right here, take square root on both sides. Take square root on both sides. Simplify right here. Square root x plus 1 by 7 completely square. Next step is here, right here, 8 divided by 49 square root. That's it. Record the values. When we, when we remove the square from the square root, we'll get the value here, x plus 1 by 7 is equal to, we always get the signs of plus minus. When you remove the square, uh, square root of the square root, next step will be here, 8. Square root of 8. Square root of 8, you can write here, 2 square root 2, because 8 multiplied, we can write here 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So you can write here 2 square, 2 square multiplied by 2. We get the value of square cancel. We get the value of 2 square root of 2. That's it. Next step is here 7, 7, 7 will be 49. We can write here 49 because 7 square, 7 square will be cut out by the value of 7. That's it. Last step is here. I write here this plus value, that constant value will be shift into right hand side 1 by 7. Next will be here plus minus 2 square root of 7. And at the last step, we will get the value here. Taking the LCM here, 7 as is 1 plus minus 2 square root of 2. I hope that you have cleared the concepts about the completing scale method. Just follow the method. You can solve any equation by this method of completing scale. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for gaining notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.